All right. Going live. I believe this is two days in a row, guys. Is this two days in a row? No. Did I go live yesterday? I, can't, I don't even remember. That's why I have to post a schedule. I got to get on a schedule, guys. Mike Vance. Do the first one in, brah. Kelly Vance, number two. Hope you guys are doing well. Looks like there are six folks on Mr. Joey. Now, I'm going to like this format a little bit better because, first of all, you don't have to see me in my COVID hair. And I don't have to shave, so I can actually read your comments. Happy birthday to Dan Han. Happy birthday to you, Dan. Next year, I'll have to get a birthday song going for you, bro. Remind me a few days before. I think you did. But um, I'm a slacker, so I apologize. But next year, we'll have to get the birthday song going. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to... Happy birthday to Dan the Hand the Man. I wanted to unbox this um, shave and edger. Jackie Mink, what's up, girl? I wanted to um, unbox this shave and edging razor as it's, as it's um, branded here. Um, I was intrigued by the handle here, which I thought looked to me like it could be pretty cool. Uh, it's a fusion blade. It just looks like it's repackaged for this King Gillette C product launch. So let's pull this guy out. I've opened it up earlier. So this is not like a, a premiere unboxing, but so here you go in the package. Again, it's the Fusion 5, or it looks like the Fusion 5. Caitlin Vance. And in the package, it says that there's an extra cartridge, cartridge inside or an additional one. Which is kind of quirky here. Almost looks like a, an afterthought. Um, but here's the razor, guys. So it feels like that Gillette 5 that they launched a year and a half or so. It had a blue handle and it was like more of a, a reduced cartridge uh, play, sort of a budget play. And it just looks like they changed this, the color of the, the handle to this sort of uh, charcoal, rubbery charcoal. And you've got this little emblem here. But it looks nice. Let's take a look. Oh, take a look at this. Looks like a Fusion 5. Pivot head. It's got the precision trimmer on the back. Plastic, but looks like chrome. So I'll do a, a shave with this coming soon. But I was just intrigued by the product packaging, to be honest with you guys. The real treat and the real star of the show and what I drove to two Walgreens the other day for is this double-edged razor. All right, man. Joey, has anybody else have a little bit of lag going on with their video? So let's unbox this. Right in here, I think this is a nice little touch. You've got these blades, the King C. Gillette blade. Now, Jimmy, who comes on, I don't know if he's here today, said some pretty interesting things on the product unboxing and, and review of this. So he told us that the C, no lag. Dan, Danny K, what's up, bro? So the C in Gillette, or King C, stands for camp. So King Camp Gillette, very interesting name. 
You know you're destined for greatness if your parents are naming you king, right? So here we are. Nice, hefty handle, guys. And if you look at that design, the knurling. Beautiful, beautiful chrome. Now, what I didn't communicate, it does have the heft. What I didn't communicate yesterday was what I've been hearing um, but I couldn't really find it on the package, so I didn't want to say it. But when um, when Jimmy said it, I, I think I have to trust Jimmy. Um, so the handle itself is made in China, this handle here. The head people believe is made in Germany. And why they say that is because there was a piece that came in the inside, on the inside here, that had German writing on it. I don't have that piece. But the Germans are noted <clears throat> with um, their precise or precision engineering, guys. But it looks like the Ed Edwin Jagger. Head that I've I have a couple of these heads. The head is German. There you go. So you got a, the head is German. You got blades that are made in Russia. And the handle is made in China. It's a nice razor. So it's an international razor, guys. I'd like Gillette to start making some stuff in the USA, guys. That's my request. That's my request for the king. I actually visited the Gillette global headquarters when it was the global headquarters. I don't know if it still is, but outside of Boston or in Boston many years ago. I was actually there for uh, work. I actually did a video at that, at that facility. So here's the, uh, the blades that come with this razor. And they have the King C. Gillette stamp on the blade right there. Fine grooming since 1901. Very nice. So I started to talk to you a little bit about, and I asked the question, like, what's going on with Gillette, right? Why do we think they're doing what they're doing in terms of marketing? And I got some really intelligent answers from you guys. I'm going to clean that off. Because it seems like their strategy has been all over the map a little bit. But there's been a lot of enthusiasm about this product. I've seen lots of folks talking about going out and buying this at Walgreens. So I guess they're doing something right. Very nice product, though, guys. Gave a nice shave. If you haven't seen the unboxing and review of this. Yeah, I believe it was posted yesterday. And uh, I can leave a link in the description box. You wouldn't buy it, Danny KY. Give us your thoughts on uh, Gillette. It's not their own design. Yeah, I get that. Yep. So it would be good. Uh, and what I think may happen is these are test beds. Kind of gauge enthusiasm. Exactly, Andrew Motes. I think what happens is, and if you're 
curious as to what I'm thinking. Merkerhead. Okay. So, once upon a time, Gillette owned the market, right? They actually were one of the first, if not the first, to create a double-edged safety razor, I believe. Don't hold me to that. Um, back in the day. And I, I liken it a little bit to, I mean, this is my theory. I liken it a little bit to the Volkswagen bugs that were made so good, so well, and everybody wanted them, everybody bought them, and they lasted for so long. You know, you didn't really need to go buy a new one. In this market, back in the day, we didn't have suckers for marketing like we have today. I think you bought a product that lasted. Danny K, you own several DE razors. You're going to have to give us a list of what you own. So back in the day when you had a razor, you probably used it. You bought razor blades. You bought them in bulk. They were inexpensive. You got a decent shave and you were done. But how do you make more money? They should, they should reboot one of their TTO adjustables. Okay. They should reboot the TTO adjustables. And I think they're going to get there. If this test goes really well, if they're gauging enthusiasm, then I think it makes sense to open up a line and start making the product. That's just my theory. But what they did was they switched over to cartridges, I believe, because the evolution, if you, if you really look at Gillette, they were always trying to provide the better experience, right? The better shave, more comfort, more comfortable shave. And ultimately, they got into cartridges and just improvements, constant improvements, right? Two blades, then there were three blades, then they added lubrication, and they added swivels, and then they added lights, whistles, and etc. And then it got to be to the it got to the point where you were spending so much money on these cartridges. In fact, I remember when I visited with Gillette many years ago. They gave us a bunch of blades as like a gift. And some of the group that I was with was like elated because of the cost of these blades. It was like the best gift you could have gotten. It was like Christmas, right? So over time, the consumer started to really look at the cost of the blades. I remember trying to stretch uh, a cartridge out for as long as I could, right? which isn't really that satisfying. It doesn't provide the, be the best shave, the best hygiene, what have you. So somewhere over time, when consumers start to get a little bit, um, when there's unrest, when you have the opportunity to, to, to look at other products, that's really when there's an opening in the market. So Gillette, kind of by putting all this pressure in terms of um, better, because better comes with a cost, right? So by putting this pressure on improvements and updating their line, I believe they put pressure on themselves and allowed for openings at the bottom end of the spectrum. And you started getting uh, people doing business differently, like the Dollar Shave Club, right? You started entrance like Harry's and then this whole retro phase people are looking back at old school and there's a, a real good momentum for double-edged razors right now uh, GT what's up so I think this is a to capitalize on the movement to make a buck where you can make a buck but I really do believe that this is a test bed for, you know, is there enough enthusiasm to warrant, you know, getting back in this and re-releasing some of their old hits. Started with that heritage, which I'll go and get for any of you who have not seen it. You probably all have, but I'll go get it anyway.
All right, I didn't, I didn't lose everybody. So this is how the Heritage Razor came. Jim G, I was just talking about you, man. So how did the Heritage measure, measure to this one, Mike Vance asks? Well, I actually really enjoyed this shave. I think it might have been the heft. It may have been the blade. But here, this Heritage is a little bit lighter. Definitely shorter. It's actually a lot lighter. Let's pull this boy out. Daniel Hannon, you love DE razors. Let's see. Does this say G2 on this? It says four. So let's compare the two. So to answer your question, uh, Mr. Vance, I, I enjoyed this better. Now, there could be a couple of reasons. Like I said, it's got more heft, but it could be the blade. Now, Jimmy G's here, so he can probably tell us what blades these are. I've heard there might be Astra's. And the head. Jimmy, I was telling people earlier that you s speculated, and I believe Moats said he seconded the fact that the head was made in Germany. Looks pretty similar, doesn't it? A little different. I do like the heritage also. This just is, is more hefty, and I like the heft. And I like the, the length, too. Even though I choked up when I was using this, I do like the ability to, to go long. Both very nice razors. As far as packaging... You know, I love this little clamshell package that the Heritage came in. It's just a nice keepsake, and it looks old school. Looks like something you'd get back in the... The pinky placement. Yeah, that's cool. Looks like something you get back in the 70s, guys. Very nice razor. Thank you, brah. Or perma sharp blades. I like these blades, Jimmy. Really like the blade. That's where we keep the arsenal of bullets. We're prepared. We're prepared for the apocalypse in this house. <laughs> the blades are fantastic. They're expensive too, right? The five that come in the kit, but I believe they're 10 for $6. I don't know if that's a good deal or a bad deal, guys. What's up, RK516? What's up? Just talking Gillette King C launch and really what's going on. So, uh, Jimmy, tell me what you think Gillette is doing. What's up, Zach? Yeah, <laughs> you got the suckers on. Oh, he retracted his message. Bad deal, good blade. 
The sucker is on. All right. Yeah, that makes more sense. So, Jimmy, what are we doing long term with Gillette? Do you think they're going to be introducing more of these? Is this a shot in the dark? Is this something that they're testing us with? Shaving is a, is a big hobby for a lot of folks right now. They're, re they're trying to recapture their former customers. Do you really think the advertising, do you think they went into that blind or do you think they had a reason for that advertising? I like the packaging too. Because I've worked for a Fortune 100 company. You do a mega campaign like that. You don't, you don't go in blind testing the waters. Maybe it's like when the new, new Coke came out. The, the advertisement was probably to get some more women into the market. That's an interesting point. Marketing of due to the fact they own Procter and Gamble. Yep. Yeah, no, makes sense to me. So Kroger has these guys that was just got a comment. And I did not know that. I don't have a Kroger near me. Unless that comment was about something else. Procter & Gamble is all about marketing. Yes. So Jimmy G, you know, you probably as well as I do, that they had the, and I'm going to go pick one up. So apologize. I'm going to go grab it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. But they they introduced that Gillette 5 and the Gillette 3 as a budget play on the, the, the Mach 3 and the Fusion 5. And this, this razor here feels and looks identical to that, that 5. Why, why those two different plays? Be right back. All right, I'm back, guys. I didn't lose too many of you. I'm looking for... my Gillette 5, I believe. Yeah, here it is. Oh, this is, no, the Gillette 3. So this is the Gillette 3, right? It's got that same cap. That same rubbery material, the same plastic faux chrome. I, Jackie, I believe she likes full heat. Because go big or go, go home, right? Um, right here. Same, same razor, just a different coating here, right? Well, this is the three version. So, Jimmy, why'd they do that? Got it. So they lost a lot of market share. Do you think they lost a lot of market share prior to the new commercial? Or they would just been losing market share because they, their products were overpriced or priced out of the market, not offering enough value? They were already losing some. Harry's. Joshua Bond. What's your woman's name?
Danny K, what's your woman's name? Overpriced. Jackie! So we see we have something in common, bruh. Great minds think alike. <laughs> Great minds think alike. I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite razors. I don't know why I'm going down the razor lane, but I love this. Mach 3 Sensitive Power. I don't even think you can get this anymore. Profits. Yeah. Look at that, guys. I need to do a review of this again. Parker Variant Adjustable. Yeah, I have that on my list. Mexico has this. Yeah, this, this, I did a review of this a while back. And I took the battery out. Oh, I hope I didn't break the thing. I took the battery out because I didn't want to leave the battery in and have it explode. It's really cool looking, and the power is really cool, too. You can get these blades, but they don't look the same. There's more silver in them, I believe. I wish I had the original packaging. Is the vibrate feature the real deal? Yeah, I don't know, but I like it. So value is um, it's, it's a marketing, right? It's uh, what you perceive to be valuable and the cost or the amount that you would pay for said value. So when you're looking at a product like this, gimmicky but it's an average guy you know an average guy can reach out and get some of these and it makes you feel good economics 101 hunter what's up brah hunter's been off youtube i read the the comments you've been off youtube moving furniture and such now you're back with a vengeance they know the de market is coming yeah I want, do you think they'll remake the, the fat boy is the question. Because I keep hearing, you got to get yourself a fat boy. You got to go on eBay and get yourself a fat boy. Jimmy, are they bringing the fat boy back? They probably are. Slim adjustable. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Have a few more cheeseburgers. You know what's funny? I'm digging in my bag here. What I find really funny is I have this bad boy. See that? And I have this bad boy in my bag. Talk about a sucker for marketing. I also have this bad boy. Again, I take the batteries out. This is a stud right there, though. Look at that. Pro Glide Power. Look at this guy. I mean, they make them in all different shapes and sizes and colors. Mach 3 Turbo. You love the Lutz handle. That Jason Lutz is the man. This is B-Man's favorite. In fact, he sent me enough blades for the rest of my life. You have five original fat boys. Oh. Jimmy G. Jimmy G. I did a review of this recently.
I have not, Danny K. I have not tried it. There you go. Look at that. Not sure why, but I have two of these. Not sure why. I did hook up. I didn't hook up with Kevy Shaves, but I sent him a, a very nice uh, comment. I subscribed to him. I will try to hook up with Kevy Shaves. He's a wonderful. I I watched his review of this. He has a wonderful uh, presence, very nice accent, and seems like a really pretty cool guy. Oh, look at this, guys. And I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why this happened, but I have this, this, and this. Why does this happen, B-Man? This one's all ratty, too. It's like it's been overused. Three of them. Three of them in the bag. I got this handle. I guess Gillette knows what they're doing, guys. Gillette Vector. Look at that. Another power unit. But I'm excited. I don't know, guys. How many of you are excited about Gillette getting back into safety razors? And how many of you are aggravated by them? Pro Shield. IGT is very excited. I'm excited about it, too. Mike Vance is excited. You know why I'm excited? Because I do shaving reviews. <laughs> so I'm excited if anyone's putting out new stuff. You know what I'm saying, guys? Look at that guy. This was exciting. Mech 3. You're going to send a new one to me? Danny K. Phillips needs to hire me. Mike Vance, if they hired me, then I probably wouldn't be doing all the rest of this stuff. RK thinks it's good, but they should make them in the USA. I, yep. B-Man is saying I'm boring today. Jimmy G just purchased the NFL Fusion Pro Glide. Wow. You know what, um, Jimmy G? I did uh, Gillette. I'm not sure which Gillette video I did. But a while back, Gillette, and when I was doing it, I did it in a Michigan hat. A Wolverine's hat. And um, Gillette reached out to me and they sent me a Michigan Pro Glide. They said they were going to be launching a new series of regional products and they wanted influencers. They called me an influencer. I, I, I don't think I influenced many people in my life, but it was nice. They said they were sending influencers um, the, the, you know, these razors so they could share them with their audience. And I had a viewer send me a Michigan hat. I wasn't really a Michigan fan. And he was a great guy. He is a great guy. So I sent him the razor. Clint Robert, great guy. He's a coach now of a hockey team, high school hockey. Go Blue, there you go. I'll tell you what, though. The Michigan fans are some big-time fans. But here's a, you talk about gimmicky products. This is their answer to B-Man. This is the answer to the Turbo. Right? 
Mach 3 Turbo. And why did they go away from the Mach 3 Turbo, B-Man? Why are they changing it up? Is it just marketing or was there a reason? Do you know? I think this is cool looking, though. And that flex seemed to help slightly on the jaw when I was doing the cross cut. I wonder if B-Man left because he was snoozing. I'm going to show you one more thing before I kick it in today. I'll be right back. Oh, getting old, guys. Last thing for today. So I showed you guys during the last shave this Duke Cannon. It's called Quick Buff Siberian Mint Face Scrub with peppermint, jojoba, and vitamin C. Beautiful, man. It smells great. And it has these little crystals or little uh, little bits in the uh, solution that help to, you know, take the dry skin off. I'm loving Duke Cannon, guys. And I saw this also. Here's another face wash. So next time I shave, I'll do this for my face wash routine. This one is Energizing Cleanser. What is the new shave gel in the canister? I, I know they went to their heated shave gel in the canister. It looks sweet. Energizing cleanser with menthol, eucalyptus, and vitamin C to fight fatigue and scurvy. You got to love their copy too. Standard issue. <laughs> she knows. She was just telling me today. She was saying, you know, we have to do something about all the stuff we have floating around in this house. So I may have to start shipping some of this out. Maybe I'll start shipping things out to, to viewers. Yard sale. But these look good. I haven't tried this yet. And this one is just great. Standard issue. Oh, all right, same package, only a blue canister. Not sure if the name can get it, CVS. Yes. Now, Jimmy G, where are you buying your vintage razors? Are you buying them from eBay? Are there stores where you can go buy them? <laughs> Quick buff for balding man. Tax write-off, Vance. You're right. eBay, okay. And antique stores, yeah, when they open up again. That's what I was thinking, antique stores. So I'm going to definitely have to... Definitely have to hit some antique stores up. All right, before I get going, how's everybody doing? Everybody okay? Any stories about your area? Are we opening up around the country? Got the 1912 Jim Razor. Wow. Are people open? Are businesses starting to open up? You got a haircut yesterday. I, I called to try to get a secret haircut today, and my man said, no, bro. He goes, I don't want your COVID. Stay home. Got a one on the sides. See, I'm, I'm probably... Your dad got a haircut in Maryland. Oh, RK516, you're in Long Island, too. Where, whereabouts on Long Island? I think I probably asked you this question. Three hours for a haircut. Jeez. You're in Syosset. You're right around the, right around the corner, bruh. 
Chris F., where are you from? Glenhead over here. Farming there. Okay. We're all close. June 6th for barbers here. Okay. June 6th. Do you think that's going to happen? Or do you think they're going to push it back? I was thinking, guys, I think I might just take it all off. Not bald. Nature's doing that for, for me anyway. It isn't bald. It's a reverse mohawk. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to like a two, like a buzz cut, like Mike Vance has. Many stores reopened here in Ohio. All right. Yep. Danny K, I'm with you on that one. My, my girl is looking to go to her stylist too, I bet. Have one, have one someone. Yeah, I called my, my boy and he said no. My hair, my barber said no, bruh. One on the side, scissor cut on top. Yes. I think I might do a two all the way around. Is that, maybe that's too long. Maybe I need to go a little shorter. What do you think? <laughs> Akron and Cleveland. All right, Jim G, are you a NBA fan? Triple zero. Start longer, okay. What do you suggest, RK? Cavaliers. I was going to ask you about that. I wanted to hear what your um, what your thoughts on LeBron are. Haircut and a shave. Wow. Triple zero. Try four. Okay. And Joshua one one's a Lakers fan. You still root for him. And Hunter's from Cincinnati, and he loves the Cavs. You did the shave yourself. Four on the sides, all right. I'll try that. Four on the sides. Has uh, So for the NBA folks out here, have you watched the, um, the Last Dance? Would you say I should get that? Did you have to pay for it? I just missed that last comment, I think, from Duality of Man. So if you could say that again, I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, yeah. Mike Vance, you're right. Why wouldn't you play without live fans? Playing for the fans that are stuck at home. To me, it's like, you know. Any last dance viewers? Is it worth is it worth the I think you have to pay for it, right? Is it worth uh, paying for? It's worth it. All right. What does it cost, Joshua? Yeah, I mean, I can understand that Vance. You get energy from live fans, but still Soccer in Germany. Really? That's crazy, B-Man. Oh, so you, Joshua, you get it Spectrum, so you get the package. Is it like a Prime, Amazon Prime thing, or is it a ESPN deal? Well, Jimmy G, I, I'm an old dude. I I saw Michael Jordan play, and he tormented my Knicks for years. You've been watching Korean baseball. Oh, really? You can watch. You can buy it solo from ESPN. All right. And each uh, each episode is probably a cost. I have to check it out because I'm a I'm a I'm a Jordan fan, even though he really tormented my. The Knicks. Raptors got lucky, beat the Warriors during a cave, and injured almost equivalent to Kobe and Shaq. Yeah, you're right. 
You still have two pairs of Jordans. That's cool. Danny K likes the Bulls. Rodney Trailer. I love your videos, bro. Thank you, man. I love you being here. Danny K is from Illinois. So you're a, you're a Bulls fan. I miss... I miss the, the NBA Finals. You named your kid Jordan. <laughs> Girl or boy, Jimmy G? Your son. And does he know you named... I'm sure he does. Is he a Michael Jordan fan too? IGT, is there a stream schedule? I, I haven't come up with a stream schedule, guys. I need to do it, though. Who is the best basketball player and boxer? You mean at the same time, or you want to know who are the best of each sport? Well, that's cool, Jimmy. Duality of men, yes. Stream schedule is a great idea. I'm open to suggestions, guys. I want to do something that makes sense for the viewers. Makes sense for me, obviously. And I want to be real consistent with it. And I'm a little I'm a little flaky with time, guys. Saudi Arabia. What's up? What's up back from New York? Jordan and Tyson. All right, so I'm going to go Jordan and Muhammad Ali. You still have the first Air Jordan flight t-shirt. B-Man, see you, man. See you, brah. Thanks for joining. And thanks for watching, Duality of Man. Duality. I like that. Um... You're the man, Danny K. You're the man. No, you the man. <laughs> and, uh, oh. You wore it to his last game in Cleveland. Yeah, Michael Jordan was an awesome player. And, you know, Scottie Pippen was an awesome player, too. You got it from the Full Metal Jacket movie. You know, I don't think I've seen the Full Metal Jacket movie, guys. I may have seen bits of it, but I don't think I've seen the whole movie. I just started, we just started watching Narcos on Netflix. The line, duality of man, yeah. My thoughts on Rodman. Um, Rodman is like an energy guy, right? And what... Basketball people will tell you. I'll have to check it out, duality. Basketball people will tell you, you know, defense is effort. It's an effort play. Did I like Mike Tyson? I, I, you know, Mike Tyson was sort of an enigma to me. I met Mike Tyson. But he was like, he was a phenomenon. And it... it I'll tell you, when you look at um, Muhammad Ali and the size, I mean, a heavyweight to have the fluidity and uh, the speed that he had at his size, he was like a freak. He was a freak. Mike Tyson was like a wild animal. Why is Dan, Dan Ham? Got a sad face going. That 72-10 Bulls team was the greatest of all time. There's no doubt about it. Dan Ham, what's wrong with you, brah? What's with the sad face? I was thinking about doing a, a live stream... One day, all day. 
Mike is coming back in bare knuckle. Get out of here. How old is he now? Kid, I don't believe you, bruh. I think Mike Vance is pulling our leg, guys. He isn't? 52. Wow. If I could have any scent on shaving cream, what would it be? Hmm. He's looking to fight someone. Wow. He must need the money. Sandalwood. Jim G is right. Sandalwood. I agree. It's a, it's a beautiful scent. Thank you, Jim. Jim's answering all my questions. Jimmy, you should have your own shaving channel, bro. You know so much about shaving. If I lived in your area, we'd have to kick it. He owns a weed company, really. So he's just doing it for the hell of it. Are you a Mike Tyson fan? It's not very difficult. Um, it's not that difficult, Jimmy G, to start one. Uh, basically, once you get the, the filming part, you know, if you have an iPhone or an Android phone and you just... You know, get that, where are you going to put the phone? I could give you some tips on it, and you'd be really good at it, man. You'd probably enjoy it a hell of a lot, too. Something like this, the live aspect of this. I mean, I just have a my phone on a tripod. I don't have to be on camera. And you could talk about your products if that's what you wanted to do. Thank you, Jimmy. And we, we, it, it's a community. You know, what I love about YouTube, I've always loved about YouTube, is the immediacy of YouTube. When I first started, I, I posted a video. I was just playing. What's up, Benjamin Hurley? Quarantine's going, man. I posted a video. It was just something I took. It was a test. I put it up, and I had 25 comments overnight. So the next day, I looked at this video and all these comments and I was like, this is awesome. You know, you put a video up and people talk to you about it. The immediacy of it, the community of it, you know, just the interaction, especially now when we all are all quarantined, it's nice to be able to chat with people. Most popular video. What do you mean, Mike? What do you mean most popular video? Elaborate on that question, brah. Oh, my YouTube videos. Uh, so the most popular video in terms of uh, views is One Blade. I think it's like a four-month. It might be the four-month um, update. I think it has 600 and some odd views, 600,000 views. I have another one that's approaching 600,000, just happens to be another one blade. It's a one blade versus a DE shaver. And at the time, I didn't know that much about, you know, DE shaving. Still don't. I'm learning every day. So I wish I could, for the amount of views it has, I wish I had represented the both disciplines better. Lots of car reviews have hundreds of thousands of views, but I haven't really done a proper um, car review that's really done anything lately. Stick to one blade, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm due to do another one blade video soon because it, one of the viewers wa asked is asking me, um... <laughs> V-Man is very V-Man is a very smart guy. Uh one of the viewers asked me about one blade and if you were able to get a clean shave from one blade after a day or two. 
I, I've always said one blade is great when you're taking off long stubble. Uh, I don't use it every day for shaving. It actually works better on longer stubble than it does on short hair. Uh, and it doesn't cut as close as a blade, so. But I'll have to do more of those. I'm winding up on an hour, but I, I, I definitely do owe you folks a schedule, which I'll come up with. Maybe I'll consult with Jackie. We'll find a schedule that makes sense. I just missed you. You said something about... Uh, I missed those last two comments because I was looking away. So Jimmy G, and I believe it was something about Pastor's Pharmacy. Eric Rodriguez, what's up, bruh? You didn't miss it. You're still here. We got, I'm going to go an hour. We got four more minutes or so. And you know I am. I'm flaky with time, so it could be a few more minutes if somebody asks an interesting question. It takes me down a rabbit hole. <laughs> uh, she's, she's a supporter of YouTube. She thinks I'm a character. Percy's not impressed, though. Percy's about had it with me. What razor is that on the left? This razor? It is the... The King C. It's, it's the King C branded... I'm going to say it's the Fusion 5 rebranded as the King C. Gillette. It is a huge long handle, bruh. Did you like... Did you like the uh, shave with the... I've never used the feather blades, a, a true feather blade. Um, I've used the one blade, the single edge blade with a feather, which is pretty sharp. Um, this is the Gillette, King C Gillette five blade trimmer razor. Edger. All right, thanks, bruh. Danny K, sending the merch. Yeah, I'll check anything out you want to send, guys. <laughs> Too well. Well, this is, you know, here it is. We're all learning together. We're all learning this together. I've been a, I'm an expert in shaving my face, but not an expert in shaving. Um, and I love, I love it. I would go out and buy, if I had the, the wallet, I'd go out and buy all kinds of stuff. I will review the bumpy shave ball, ball that you sent, Mr. Vance. And I appreciate that, bruh. And we're winding down. But what do you guys think of uh, an all-day live? Because I don't know. I, I'm just I'm testing the boundaries of things. I'd really have to have a plan. Pasture's Pharmacy is fantastic. Okay. A, an all-day. And I'd have to have, like, I'd really have to, a marathon, yeah, I'd have to have like segments of different things and maybe do shaving, maybe I'd do cars, maybe I'd do food, maybe I'd do like a little travel, like a one day travel deal. All day live sounds cool. Now, if you're leaving the house and I'll have to have Percy in it, Kelly Vance, you're right. If you're leaving the house, I would spend hours there. Where is it, RK? If you're leaving the house, you have to have access to great Wi-Fi or the, the feed gets interrupted and you're in trouble. A small script of topics. You're right. 34th Street. All right, I'm going to have to get I'm going to have to get there after COVID.
That sounds like a good plan, Jimmy G. Mark Fuentes, what's up, brah? All right, Mark Fuentes got this razor, right? You went out and got this, and you used it? I haven't used those blades. Vux Hood. Yeah, Benjamin Hurley, that's a good idea. $15, Mark got it. Mark got it for 15 bucks. You can't beat that. Did you like it? Oh, you didn't use it yet. All right. You got to let us know, Mr. Fuentes. And you got to use that beautiful synthetic badger hair brush to put that lather on, brah. Voskud. Okay, Voskud. All right. Danny K is sending the stash. I'm looking forward to it. And you see, guys, I went over time. You'll use it with the FM brush. Beautiful thing. Thanks, man. Hunter loves them. How's your brother, Hunter? How's Nick? I just want to remind all you guys. Oh, Kenny Shaves came over. So I just want to remind all you you folks. Nick is good. Thanks for your thanks, bro. Someone stole your identity. That's not good. You better check that out, Vance. They're messing with the wrong guy too. I just wanted to remind all you guys. If you haven't already, so please like the video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, turn the notifications on. So when I do go live, they have a shave meetup in July. We're going to have to do that, brah. We'll have to go and do a shave meetup. Um, click the like button. Subscribe. It, it's, it's crazy. I think that there's going to be more and more of that stuff. Hijacking, hacking. Well, anyway, guys, I'm three minutes long. I want to thank you all for being here. As always, it's been great. Keep your comments coming. KPP, and I'll see you guys next time. And what do I owe you guys? I owe you the schedule. 15 bucks. Thank the Lord. Oh, thank the Lord is true. What they do is they test the waters. Jimmy. KPP Kelly Vance. KPP IGT. Um, they test the waters with sometimes they do a small buy somewhere like gas or something, you know, something where they don't have to interact. You really have to be diligent. Stay safe, Mark. And I'll see you guys. God bless you, too. I'll see you guys later. Maybe tomorrow. In the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing play. Thank you for coming. Uh, duality of man. Take care, guys. Take care, Jimmy. Mike Vance. Good night, brah.